Yo guys, what's up and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make crazy samples in the style of Her Loss, the upcoming album by Drake and 21 Savage. So first I'm going to show you all the sample, then after that I will break it down and show you how I mix it, and then after that I will show you how I mess it and process it. So please make sure to stay till the end. I got a new contact bank that I want to preview. It's a flute phrase bank. Then I will show you all every single plugin from my mastering chain, and I will show you every plugin that I use to mix those sounds. So yeah, please make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to leave a cool comment as well or leave some video ideas for future videos. I'd really appreciate that. And thank you for this crazy support and the crazy support on the kit the link for my new multi kit is in the description and yeah guys let's go So for the first thing I used the Sonus Scott Strings of Winterbank. Oh yeah, I picked this plugin, I turn off the reverb, and then I let down this pattern, which is basically always just these three chords. And then I just copied them over and changed them up a bit. And I just did it for two bars and then just copied it over because I wanted it to sound repetitive. Then after I laid this pattern down, I just randomized the velocities, which you can do with Alt and R. Then this window will come up and you can just play with the velocity knob and see how it sounds like. And that's basically what I did for this pattern. And it sounds like this. Then for the effects on this violin, I just had the simple Valhalla Vintage Verb where I tweaked the mix, the decay and the low cut. And I had this simple EQ where I took out some of the lows and removed some of the frequencies that I didn't really like. And I panned it 16% to the right. Then for the next thing, I used the Sonoscore Bank again and I used the Orchestra. And I used this Violins 2 Sustain preset. I left the reverb on and just laid down this pretty simple pattern. What I basically did was just laying down an A minor chord and then just changed up the C to an B and repeated it the whole time and I left the velocities on default because I liked how it sounded and the second violin pattern is sounding like this. Then for the effects on the second violin, I had this fully parametric EQ where I took out some of the frequencies that I didn't like. Then this fully parametric EQ where I took out a lot of the lows and a lot of the highs just to duck it more into the background. And I had this soothe on the hard setting and this knob to 5.5 just because it's basically an automatic EQ and I just wanted it to take out all the harsh frequencies. Then for the next thing I used the Euphoria kit from Alex and I went to the drum and percussion loop section and I picked this Jurus of Plenty Perk loop. I don't know if I pronounced that right but that's the name of it. And I just time stretched it to bring it into time and that's basically all I did for this perk loop and the perk loop is sounding like this. Then for the effects on this texture or perk loop, I had this simple EQ where I took out a lot of the lows and a lot of the highs just to duck it more into the background because as I said, it's just there to give the whole sample more texture and more of like a rhythm. Then for the next thing, I used the Euphoria kit again and I went to the accent section and I picked this toy transition which sounds like this. And I pitched it down by 3, brought it into time, put the D-click mode on generic and this is mainly just there to give the whole sample more texture again and it sounds like this. Then before I will show you the effects for this toy transition, I just picked the same transition, made it unique, reversed it, put the D-click mode on generic, pitch it down by 3 again, and now those two transitions are sounding like this. And for the effects on this transition, all I just had was this simple EQ where I took out a lot of the lows and a bit of the low mids. And that's basically for the effects on this transition. Then for the next thing, I used the Euphoria kit again. And I went into the guitars and stringed instruments section. And I used this Coda Texture 6, which goes from C to G. And it wasn't really in key, but I pitched it up by 12. And then right here, I pitched it down by 3. I put the D click mode on generic, the mode on stretch, because I brought it into time, obviously. And this is how the finished Coda Texture is sounding like. Then for the effects on this code texture, I just had the simple reverb where I tweaked the mix, the decay and the low cut. Then this fully delay 3 with D settings. Then portal where I used the hypnotize bang from Adlongot on Instagram. And I used this Mad Dog preset. I think I just turned down the mix on like 20%. And I had this EQ just to cut out some of the lows because they weren't really necessary and I didn't want them to clash with the bass. And now we'll show you all the flute bang. It's called Ethnic Series Xiao. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. What? 
and it's from at one ratos on instagram i will leave the link in the description so y'all can check it out and this bank is actually insane because you have short phrases long phrases you can tempo sync them and you can turn it even off and you have a lot of phrases to pick from and then you have the simple instrument section where you just have short or long notes and you can just play the melodies by yourself as you can hear So yeah, make sure to check that out. He's a good friend of mine. And I'm not just saying that because he's a good friend of mine. I'm saying that because the bank is actually fire. And the pattern laid down looks like this. And obviously I can't explain how he made those phrases. But you can check it out in the description as I said. I just lowered the volume of the C5 note because it was way too loud. But that's okay because you can lower the volumes as I said. And the finished flute phrase pattern is sounding like this. And by the way, I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm just saying how I feel about this bank. And as I said, it's an insane bank. So y'all make sure to get that. And now for the effects on this flute, I had this simple EQ where I took out a lot of the frequencies that I didn't like. Then this simple EQ where I took out some of the lows because I didn't want the bass sounds from the flute to clash with the normal bass. And I had it 90% in stereo. Then for the next thing, I used Myroslav Philharmonic for the bass. And I used this bass sustain preset. And I just laid down this simple bass line. It just follows the root notes from the violin pattern. Besides at the end, because I wanted the bass line to have a little bit of a switch up. And the finished bass line is sounding like this. Then for the effects on this bass, I just had the simple decapitator where I had it on the beefy preset. I just turned down the drive, the tone, and I put the style to E. Then I had the simple soothe on the hard setting and the knob to 5.4. Then this EQ just cut out some of the muddy lows because they weren't necessary for the whole sample. And I put it 100% in mono. Then after that, I just put my mastering chain on it, which includes this compressor with these settings. Then this A1 serial control from Alex Hilton, just to make it a bit more white. But you have the safe bass option where you can leave the bass in mono and put the rest of the sample in stereo which is just a crazy option then this simple eq where i ducked some of the lows and some of the highs just to make it sound more vintage then this rc20 just for the wobble the distortion the magnetic and the eq then this simple eq just to boost the highs a bit then this eq just to take out some of the frequencies that i didn't like and then this soothe on its default settings because as i said it's just an automatic eq then after that i rendered the sample out with the effects on and i normalized it put the d-click mode on generic the mode on stretch and i put it on the eighth mixer track and on the eighth mixer track there is this simple EQ where I took out a lot of the frequencies that I didn't like. Then this sound shifter pitch zero from Waves where I pitched it up by two because I liked that pitch and it sounded the best in it. And then I had this EQ where I ducked some of the lows and cut out some of the muddy lows just because I didn't like how they sounded. And the finished sample is sounding like this. <laughs> So yeah guys, if you all enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to turn on the post notifications because as I said, I'm live streaming a lot and you'll get notified every time I upload. And please make sure to leave a comment on what I should do next or just leave a cool comment, it really means a lot. And as I said, thank you for this crazy support. Make sure to check out my newest kit, the link for that will be in my description. And yeah guys, see y'all.